showing you how to do rounded avatar images. And lastly, we are going to do a key skills bar as well. So these are quite a few nice functionalities, and I'm leaving this part quite open-ended so that you can all finish off your CV page yourselves and use the skills that you've learned throughout my lessons. Anyway, let's stop talking about this and let's get down to our demo. Okay, let's get going on this demo. So now what we're wanting to do is do a skills bar up here and then a testimonial section here. And whatever fits in the middle is up to you and your imagination and however you want to use the skills that I've taught you. So this is going to be quite a lot of fun. So let's start off with the testimonials. So in here, I've just commented to make life a bit easier. So here is where our hamburger menu code begins. And it ends over here, so we don't want to interfere with anything between these two comments. And also, I think that's quite a nice um, demonstration of what your comments can be used for. So over here, we're going to go underneath, and then we can do a comment just because I'm talking about them. And we can now say, here is where we are going to put our testimonials. And then you can know that this is where they start. Wee. And then we can do the same at the bottom. Testimonial. And we can just say end. Okay, I quite like this approach because it just, you know, when you're coding, there's so many different things going on that it's sometimes nice to just have a bit of order in your site. So then here we can go and say div. And it's going to be a class container and we'll close that off leave ourselves some space let me actually bring this higher for you there we go and first thing we want is a little image for our testimonials so that they can see who is who is making the comments so image src and we can go and pick our url and that will be in my portrait section, and we can choose this one. Let's rename to Susan. And there we go. So now we've got Susan in here. And then we want to do a little bit of editing on her. But first, let's do alternate name. And that's going to be Susan. And let's just move this over a little bit. So alternate name is going to be Susan, and then we want to just add a little bit of styling to this as well. So we're going to go style, whoopsie, style is equal to width, we're going to say it's 170 pixels, and then we can say height, it can also be 170 pixels, because we want this to be a circle, which is going to be quite cool. And then our margin can be 16 pixels as well. There we go. And then now we need to just give her what is her whoopsie. What is her um, testimonial for our site going to be? So then here we can go as a P. Okay, so now we want to say what the review or the testimonial is going to be. So we're going to say heading 3 and I'm going to call her Susan Sunshine because it sounds happy. <laughs> and then let's see what she can say about us. Say Kate Savage did an amazing job with my profile professional photo shoot. Yay! I did a good job. <laughs> the fictional good job, but a good job nonetheless. Okay, and then we can put in here her email address. So email for a reference. And she's been kind enough to give us her email. So Susan sunshine at fake.com. Okay, so that 
should be quite cool. Let's see how bad it can look. Okay, so at this point, this is what we are working with. But that's what CSS is for after all. Okay, so we've got Susan Sunshine in. And let's move on to Anne. So we can even put a comment in here. See? Okay, so that was our code for Susan's testimonial. Let's move on to Anne. So IMG, SRC, whoopsie, is equal to, and we want Anne. And we can just use the same, whoopsie, the same code here because we want them to look the same. Just change your alt name to Anne instead of Susan. And then we can give her some information as well. So let's go H3. And it's Anne Blossom. And her testimonial. What can we say for her testimonial? There we go. We can say amazing photographer. And great fun to work with. There we go. And we can get her email address as well. And we can just say here, email for a reference. And that can be Blossom at fake.com as well. And let's see. And there she is. She's all the way at the bottom at this point. But let's go and just have a look. Okay, so once we save this, this is what we are looking at. That's not too bad, but let's go ahead and do the CSS. So within our HTML, we've referenced this as dot .container. So why well, is container? So dot .container. We can open that up. Okay. Let's start. So we can go border, and we want it. So we just want a little border around our container. We want it to be two pixels, and we want it to be solid. And I've gone and found colors that I like already. So let's go with CCC. Then we want to make the border radius. Now, what the border radius does is it determines the rounding of the edges. So we're going to do a slight rounding effect on this box. Let me show you. So as you can see here, we've got a rounded box and a two pixel line. There we go, and I need this at 100%. There we go. Okay, then we want to add in some padding. So let's make padding 16 pixels. We want the position to be absolute. And then we want absolute. <laughs> and then we want to position it to the right hand side of the screen and to the bottom. So by putting zero, it's going to be right at the bottom of the screen and on the right hand side of the screen. And then background color. Yeah, I'm going to do some transparency, and I've chosen a color, 160, 207, and 201, 0 0.2. So 20% transparency on this one. Let's have a look. Ta-da! So I've got this nice color, and then we've got Susan and Anne here as well. Don't worry, we're going to bring that down quite a lot smaller once we format the images. So let's go dot .container img and within here we are now going to say we want to float them to the left. So you want the images to appear on the left hand side of the container. We're going to give a bit of a margin on the right hand side which can be 20 pixels. We're going to give a border radius of 50%. I'm typing what I'm saying. 
and that will round the image. Let's just have a look what we've got so far. Okay, so now we've got rounded images. Just for fun, if we were to take this to 25%, you would then get this nice effect here. And let's do 75. I don't know what's going to happen here. But also, yeah, just a circle. So let's go back to 50. There we go. So that looks quite nice, but we've still got a few more things we want to do. Let's go in here. Just say so this must actually be 100, I think. It's a bit too big. And here, 100. Let's just see if that's a bit better. There we go. I think that's more of an appropriate size. So we've now... Ah! So that's more of an appropriate size. But let the formatting continue. So the next thing I notice is that these don't look very nice. Let's go and change that. So we're going to take heading 3. And we're going to text align center. And we're going to change the font family as well. So font family is equal to Helvetica. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's improving. And then let's do that for paragraph as well. So down here. There you go. So I've just put a comma here. So we don't have to go and repeat a whole bunch of text. So it's now for heading 3 and for P. So I think that that is looking a lot better. So we've got our two little testimonials down here. Alright, so the next thing on our list is we want to do our skills bar. So we can go in here and quickly say this was testimonials. Just so we know. And here is the end. And then we've got over here as well. So the next thing we want to do is quickly fix my he's sitting by himself. There we go. Okay. A little bit of tidying up happening here. There we go. Okay. Let's save. Yes. Alrighty, so now within here we want to get started on our skills. So this is going to be skills bars. And we can do the same. Let's leave a few lines. And in skills bars. Okay, so within here we want to create a div. So we're going to go div class is equal to skill set. And close that off. Then we have our div. And let's, yeah, make some space. Okay, so we're going to now just type up one of these and then we're going to use it as a template. So div class skills wdes, which is web development, or web design, sorry, and then web design is going to be 90%. And then we're going to close that div. Okay, so all we can see right now is web is 90%, but it is going to evolve. So what we want to do here Let's just go ahead and paste this, take this part out, that, oh, hey, there we go, <laughs> there we go, 
Six stitch. Okay, so we need six. So one, it's two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to have a soft skill section, which can be H2, soft skills. And then we also need six here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the things that I've chosen are web days, PHP, which will be 85%. Then I chose WD, which is web development. And the percentages here are like percentage knowledge, so how much you know about the topic. Then we've got UX, which is UX design, so user experience. I hope you all remember that. And we can put that at 65. So web devs, PHP, web development, user experience. JS, which is JavaScript. You can say 60%. And that actually should be fine. So let's get rid of that one. And let's see. Okay, so at this point we've got that. Remember you're seeing these because they are sitting here. Okay, and these are going to be also H2. Being very naughty with my formatting today. There we go. H2 course goals. All right. So now within here, we need to quickly do these. So we can go A list, just active listening, and give that ninety percent. Then we have TMS, Time Management Skills. Also 90%, ha ha. <laughs> and then um, Communication, which can be comms. What's quite a nice idea, just while I'm doing this bit of typing, is to go and ask a friend or colleague what they think your strongest um, like personal attributes are. I found it quite interesting when I asked my friends. There we go. Into personal skills. Then it's always important to be a team player. Which is going to be 75%. And really, there are millions of other things you could be. So, if you don't like these ones, go and find ones that work for you. But a popular one is if you have problem solving, good problem solving skills, you should mention it. Okay, so that was a lot of typing. Okay, so we've now got this, and now, through the miracle of CSS, <laughs> we're going to make this look really cool and impressive. So let's go in here. Let's just save everything first. So now we've got testimonials, and then side nav, so let's go in here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is what is our div class called? It is called skill set. So then here we're going to go dot skill set. And within here we're going to go width is equal to 485 pixels. And then I've already found a background color. Exactly this background color actually. So we can just copy that. 
And we want the padding to be 10. So padding is 10 pixels. And we're also going to round that with a border radius of 5 pixels. As yeah, so you see here, again we've got the same rounded edge. The only difference at this point is we haven't put in our padding. So I mean our padding, our border. So let's, let's add that in. There we go. And that's looking a bit more uniform. So within here now we've got skill set and then each one of these has got skills. So they fall into their own little skills class. So let's go and format those. Whoopsie. So dot skills. And within here we're going to go text, align, and that's going to be on the right hand side. Padding top can be 10 pixels. Padding bottom can also be 10. And then we can make the text color white. Front family can be the same, which is Alvetica. Background color can be black. And then we also want to round these edges, so border, radius. You're never going to forget how to do a border radius after today. It's going to be 5 pixels as well. And we're going to do a mini border. So border 0.25 pixels. And we want it to be solid. And we want that gray from earlier. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so currently... This looks awful, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you this whole skills bar. But let's that black, that black is upsetting me, so let's just change this. It's a bit too harsh. Let's go move for a slate. There we go. That's okay for now. Okay, so now we've done skills. So we've done our skills bar. Now we get to do something fun. So how are we going to do this? We're going to make this as, as simple as possible. So we need to now go into here. So now we have gone and formatted skills. But now within skills we have web design, PHP, all the different ones. And they're all at different skill levels, and we need to indicate that on our skills bar. So like this one will come to like here, but this one's only going to come to here. So we've got to go and reference them. So now what we're going to do is go dot webdes and make his own little section. Then we're going to do dot php, same thing. I'm doing it like this so we can copy paste rather than spend a lot of time on this. Then web development. Then it was UX. Ooh. Okay, it's a plan. Hold on. Okay, so every second one we want to be the same. So let's do W web des. Then web design. Comma dot js comma let's see if this works. I'm a genius if this works. Then I've chosen the background color already, so we want oh uh, no, I'm not a genius. I'm sorry guys. Because they're all different sizes, I can't cheat. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's just go back. 
Ne, 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 ne. Okay, that's a WD, then it's UX. And one more for the core skills, and that's dot JS. Okay, so within here, this one needs to be a width of 90% of the progress bar, and the background color. is anti-d-4-f-o okay, so let's just see what this looks like there we go so that's already that's looking a bit better so now what we want to do is take this skip one go to the next one Skip one, go to the next one. So web development, we only want it to be 80%. And JavaScript, we only want it to be 60%. There we go. See how I'm saving time today. Then if we go into this one, we know we want to change the color code. And that is going to be to C0, C0, C2. That's going to bug me. And we've got this gray, but we must just remember to go here and go 85. Okay, and then we can copy this to here as well. And this was 65. There we go. So we've got our little skills bar now. So this was for our core skills. Let's do our soft skills. Whoopsie. Okay, so for soft skills, we need, we've got a different list altogether. So here we've got dot a list. Oh, this thing popping up. We've got dot coms. Before dot coms, we've got dot time management skills. I guess you're wondering how I'm remembering this. I'm just looking over here. <laughs> time management skills dot coms dot interpersonal skills IPS. And then we've got dot T player. And last but not least, problem solving. There we go. Okay, so we're going to follow the same order here. So we can just start off with. Hmm. I can't decide now if I want to start. Let's start off with the gray this time. Okay, so with an A list, there we go. Then cons, then T player. Okay, and then we had A list was at 90%. Then this one was 85 again. And then, yeah, right. A list was 90, comes was 85, interpersonal is 80, team player is 75. So let's have a look. There we go. Then we have time management and we need this color code. The time management we had as 90%. Then it was 80% and 70%. Ta-da! How good does that look? But now, what is our problem? That this is not sitting. I want these two to be neighbors. I want this to be over here. 
So let's go and look. So we've got end of testimonials is here. Okay, so how we're going to fix this is we're going to go in here and go right is equal to zero and top is equal to zero. And we're going to select position. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Absolute. Okay, so I think that's quite a nice foundation here for you to finish building this page. And then let's just go and quickly have a run through of the, the pages that we have built. So this is our careers page. We had our home page. My story is up to you. <laughs> we have education with our fun little highlighting or hover functionalities here. And then we've got contact as well with our little button that takes us back to Google for now and our text fields very cool and the blue highlighting which is awesome and also our um, darker background image with an overlay and we've got our portfolio now I left this in on purpose remember earlier I changed this name we need to go and change it because now the reference is wrong so it's not at Shutterstock anymore. So I'm going to quickly open up here. And I need to go to, we started this in lesson five. And this is what? Portfolio. And then within portfolio, the alternate name was happy. Over here. And if I recall correctly, that is one of our ladies. So let's go in here. Pick our URL. Portraits. And I think it was Anne. <laughs> there we go. Let's save that. Refresh. And then she's back. There we go. So that's also quite a nice usage of the fact that we have alternate names it helps us find things so this is going to bring module one's demo to a close i hope you've all had fun but stick around because i've still got more